Mertens. So after the excitement of the top ranked singles in this tie, with Brian Yang getting Canada off to a winning start, we now have the second ranked singles for today, and it's Kenta Nishimoto, the Asian Games bronze medalist, up against Jason Anthony Ho Shun, the former Pan Am champion. So as far as these two players are concerned, the win-loss records for Nishimoto translates into six finals, but he's never actually won a title. Ho Shu, well, he's been in six finals also, but he's won two titles. The Pan Am Championships of 2016 and in 2018, the Jamaica International Series. So, big responsibility on the shoulders of Kenta Nishimoto. Jason Anthony Hoshu playing twice in this tie against Japan. He's also playing the top men's doubles with Neil Yakora. Hence the reason why we've got the second men's singles as the second match. You can't change the order of the singles. The top ranked singles must play first, followed by the second ranked singles somewhere in the order of play, followed by the third ranked singles. So you can't change the order of the singles. But obviously when a player is playing more than once, i.e. playing singles and doubles, you want to give them as much rest as possible. So as you can see, this is the second meeting uh, between uh, these two players. The only previous occasion they met was five years ago in the last 16 of the USA International Challenger event. It was three games five years ago. I think this man, Nishimoto, has improved considerably since then. Well, I think they've both improved since then, so I'm not sure we can really read too much, if anything, into that previous encounter between these two players. So I can tell you that Nishimoto won the toss of the coin, and he chose to start what will be the near side of the court as we all look down during the rallies. Which means that his opponent has been able to choose whether to serve or receive. He's 27 years of age now, he's Nishimoto, born in Mia Prefecture on the southeast coast of the main island of Hongshu. Has been as high as nine in the world ranking, a total of eight weeks across three different spells. And he, like Sunyama, is making his second appearance at a Thomas Cup campaign. Five matches he played in Bangkok, winning four of them, lost in the final against Shi Yu Chi at second men singles. Jason Anthony Ho Shu is 23 years of age, so the younger of the two men. And I actually had him a bit taller than that, so I had him at just under six foot. 178 is five foot ten, so we're not miles apart. And I can tell you that Jason Anthony Hoshu became the youngest ever winner of the National Men's Singles Championships back in 2016. Age 17 years, five months and nine days. So our umpire for this one, Hupitz from Germany, Mitz Pelu from uh, in Estonia is our service judge. So when you look in international terms at the results of these two players, there's no doubt that Nishimoto is the favourite for this. But Jason Anthony Ho Shu 
there has not only been a gold medalist at the Pan Am Championships, has in fact won four men's singles medals and four consecutive gold medals in the men's doubles with Neil Cora. Nishimoto. Japan starting this competition as the number two seed, having won the title back in 2014 and beaten in the final at the last edition of the Thomas Cup. Just wide, just wide. Well, he's challenging. I fear he won't win that. Well, if you were with us yesterday evening, I was telling you that I'm not in the best place for commentary. Last week at the Sudman Cup, I was looking right behind the court. Well, he has won that challenge. It's a very good challenge. We're at a slight angle, so we can't look down the lines. Here in Aarhus. Oh, yeah. Looking at it, it looked palm on the line actually. Well, it's been a good start by Nishimoto. Nishimoto, it was Suniyama, and the reigning world champion Kento Momota. Have to be very careful with the Japanese Thomas Cup team, the top three men's singles players. Their given names Kento, Kanta, and Kenta. No, oh, that's not going to play. clears uh, a little higher to get over the outstretched racket of Nishimoto as Oshu. Yeah. 
He went to Tokyo. This man played men's doubles with Yakura. struggling to find his range at the moment. Yeah. Scratch of the head, what should I be doing? No, I think that is Jennifer Lee. Difficult to tell when everybody's got their masks on. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. That's a great shot from Nishimoto. at the moment for Jason Anthony Hoshu. Where is he going to put pressure on his opponent? Service over. Mm. Oh, it had a little think about it, didn't it? shot from Ho Shu. Oh, I saw his teammate Brian Young do that in the open match. Obviously something the Canadian and singles players have been working on. Oh, challenge here from Ho Shu. Challenge the back line on the opposite side of the court. Service over. Ten, four, play. is challenging again if he's wrong he doesn't have any challenges left there was a big big gap across court he was trying to play the shuttle into the rights area into the open space but has he overdone it oh, just caught the line by a whisker good challenge
missed it. So, a six point advantage for Kenta Nishimoto at the mid game interval here in the opening game. Just eight minutes into the match. Well, Jennifer Lee, speaking Mandarin from what I can make out, to her player. Jennifer Lee runs a, a wonderful academy in Markham in Ontario. Many of the national players have been brought up through her club, her coaching. Reverse slice, straight drop. Great disguise on that from Ho Shu. Yeah. <laughs> Canadian teammates. Oh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Well, to leave that. Shot so tight to the net because Nishimoto 
and has been really controlling that front court area in this opening game. Not that there's been a lot of front court exchanges. so far. The Canadian looking as if he's running out of steam here. Oh, big high clear, wandering back to his base position in the centre of the court. Oh my goodness. Well that very, very nearly came over. Look, he's been double. A lot of energy used in that rally. Watch the final shot from Ho Shu. I think it actually hits the top of the tape before falling back inside. Look at this. Oh, it did too. It did. My goodness, had that had come over. Net called from Nishimoto. Oof. Throws his, run, his racket down. It was indeed the longest rally, 52 shots. Yeah, how did I possibly miss that one? fatigued as I think Hong Shu is, then you start to try and make your shots into outright winners by playing like that one, trying to play just so tight to the net. And when you're trying to play the perfect shot, inevitably you do start making mistakes. A little margin for error required. No, that's just wayward. Threaded it down the line. Exactly what I've just been talking about, desperately trying to make it an outright winner because he's feeling tired. He makes the mistake. Oh, sure. Two points from the open game now, and she walked off.
service over. Eleven. Nineteen. shot. Something a little unexpected. Rally that short. Yep. I have a feeling that Nishimoto may have touched the net anyway. No. I was wrong. the longest that was a marathon rally earlier in this game wasn't it 52 shots that one just a mere 37 opportunities. Seven of them to be precise. shot in that rally ho shoot. Oh, mm. Nishimoto didn't look as if he was celebrating, so I suspect it may well have landed in. Oh no, way out. So, opening game to Kenta Nishimoto. First game won by Japan, 21-14. And Park confirming that scoreline of 21-14. 23 minutes for game number one. <laughs> 
スマッシュって踏みたこの返しはさ、一回通すのに、ワンジャンプ通すのに、あと結構こっち寄ってる、寄ってる感じです。で、まあ、環境的にはさ、スマッシュそんなすごい残念感じだったんですけど、しっかり後ろがある、もう後ろがある。Maybe I just misheard during the mid game interval of that opening game. Point one, 20 seconds. Point one. Yes, to explain that, we were supposed to have the Thomas and Uber Cups. You're in Aarhusin 2020, so it's a bit like the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. It's all 2020、Second、event,、game. but staged in 2021. But as far as this Group D tie is concerned, Nishimoto having taken the opening game against Toshu, 21 14. Done. Hold and drive down the line. Shoes racket, yeah, just lifting the shuttle high. Oh, it's wrong to get a new racket. Oh, it's got it back. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I have never seen that in men's singles before. <laughs> well done, Jason Anthony. Ho, shoe ran off. He played a high, high clear. Well, that is amazing. We see it quite often in doubles of disciplines, but never have I seen that before in singles. Well, 10 out of 10 for effort. And 10 out of 10 for concentration from Nishimoto. You know, some of my acquaintances who don't really know about badminton have often asked me and said, Why do the players, when they change ends of the court, take their kit bags with them? Don't do that in tennis. Well, the answer is we saw that two rallies ago. That's why. 
because players need to run off, change their racket. Takes too much time to walk to the other side of the court. Different in tennis because they get a sit down every two games. effort but I'm not sure the energies are really channeled in the right direction at the moment. Thank you. Yeah you can really see the loose grip I was talking about earlier with badminton players. And he was trying to do a full pirouette I'm not sure that was the right thing to do. Nishimoto wasn't fooled with the attempted deceptive drive down the forehand side. He's been fooled once, he won't be fooled again. carefully. Look at that. And then shot there. And then realised he could get the attempted kill. Oh, this is all one-way traffic now. All in favour of this man. Kenta Nishimoto. Missed it. Little resistance at the moment from Jason Anthony Hoshu. One to the mid game interval. And considering he was love one down, it's 11 straight points. Only three courts in action because England withdrew from the Thomas Cup. It was supposed to be happening on court three. Yeah, not much said by. The coach, Yosuke Nakanishi. Good. 
20 seconds. 41, 20 seconds. Eleven one. Play. Yeah. Nishimoto able to read the shots, stepping in, taking it early at the net. Oh, I guess right. Yeah. Left have been short from Koshu. Oh, that's well taken. Playing around the headshot, Nishimoto, despite the fact it was a flat lift down his backhand side. And that's the reward if you can play that round the headshot. You can play a winner rather than playing a backhand, which is very unlikely to be a winner. Just long. And so the run of points comes to an end, finally. 14 straight points. Toying with his opponent now is Nishimoto. Hitting winners at will. Service over. opportunity and he knows it. Doing that towards the end of the opening game was Jason Anthony 
Foshaw trying to make his shots too tight, trying to make them outright winners. And then starting to make the errors. I think that must have come off of the, the frame or something. It was a bit of a mishit, hence the apology from Nishimoto. Oh, what a defensive shot. Tremendous. That was a big racket swing, looking as if he was going to lift the shuttle, ho shoe, and then chopped underneath it to play the net shot. Yeah, another error on the net shot. Yeah, trying to play tighter and tighter, and making more and more mistakes. Two points away from winning the second men's singles and levelling the tie at one match apiece. It's gone wide, it's match point opportunities. turn of serve and the tie is levelled at one match apiece because Kenta Nishimoto has beaten Jason Anthony Ho Shu in two straight games very very convincing in the second game 21-6 that second game having already won the first 21-14 there is confirmation of that scoreline 41 minutes just rounding up to 42 now and the victory for Nishimoto. This is the final rally, the return of serve. He tried the tricky backhand inside out, cross court net shot reply. Made the error. So many errors at the net in the second game from Hoshu. So, Kento Nishimoto, 21-14, 21-6 levels the tie at one match apiece so with it all poised we can look forward to the next match and it is men's doubles it's the second ranked men's doubles and Hoki and Saito for Japan up against Sharon and Tivro from Canada
welcome back to the Cerro Sorina here in Aarhus. Wonderful facility. It appears to be way out in the countryside, but I can tell you it's a short walk from the centre of Aarhus, where we're all staying. We are staying at different hotels, the players and us from the media. Such are the COVID protocols. Well, there we can see it is one all in the overall tie. This is a Group D tie. And next up is the second ranked men's doubles because Jason 